Hey! Uh, so today I'm doing a review on these uh, mineral hygienics uh, products that I've received and tried out. The reason I wanted to try some new mineral hygienic products is because my favorite mineral foundation is from Mineral Hygienic, so I really wanted to try some more products from them. And these two products are one um, eyebrow color, one blusher, and one finishing powder. So I'm just going to tell you uh, a bit of about each of these products. And uh, when you get things from Mineral Hygienic and Mail, you get this really cute bag with them. So these specs are really great for like travel and stuff like that. So you can put your things in them. Uh, the first product is the eyebrow color. I fill in my eyebrows every single day. Uh, I have a bit problem finding the perfect shade because my eyebrows are really ashy uh, and I have a problem finding colors that aren't too red for me. This was also uh, unfortunately the problem with this. On, the, um, on their web page this color looked really ashy. Uh, I should actually, I should have asked them if it was an ashy color because this is actually a really warm color. But even though I have a warmer color in my hair now uh, my eyebrows are still really ashy. You can really see the difference between the actual hairs in my brow and this color. I think this stays on really good. It stays on all day. It has a matte finish. It like it looks really good on, but unfortunately the, the color isn't for me. It is a kind of um, what should we call it? Warm light brown. I'm going to swatch this and the blusher, not the finishing powder because I want to see it. But I'm going to swatch it and uh, post a picture on my blog so you can just see how it looks. So I think this would fit more for somebody with uh, a warmer color on their eyebrows, maybe even redheads, but not for me. So I may be going to buy another one and ask them actually if the, well, which color is a cool and ashy color so because I was really happy with the other things when it comes to this and by the way when I applied it I use a um, angled flat brush this is just a, a really cheap one from H&M and the next thing is the blusher and the blusher is in the color sweet pea uh, it is in the box it looks like a dark kind of old-fashioned pink uh, and what I love about this color is that it is really easy buildable but it, you can also use it really sheer on me I have to use it sheer because because of my skin color but my sister she has a darker skin tone and she also uses self tanner a fake tan and on her it did also really it was almost too dark because she applied too much. So I think this is great for almost every every skin color once you have like black skin or anything. Okay. And it is a really neutral, uh, pretty color. It really fresh up your skin without looking like too much or unnatural. It has some shimmer in it, but I don't think that really shows up on your skin unless you're like a really bright sunshine or anything and also this stays on all day you don't have to reapply it it has it has the great kind of creamy creamy texture as their foundation so I love the staying um, powder butter yeah so this is actually the favorite of my three products in the colors the blush in the color sweet pea the brush I use for applying this is actually a brush for mineral uh, powders from Eco Tools, I think it's just called Mineral uh, Powder Brush. And the third and final product is a um, finishing powder, and this is called Silk Trans Translucent, which means that it is a translucent powder. It doesn't have any color, so any skin color can use it. And they, ha this is. 
silk one. It doesn't it isn't supposed to be do much for your texture of your skin kind of. They also have a matte one which is supposed to matte on your skin. But I like kind of more of a dewy finish, so I chose this one. Uh, it is true that it is translucent, at least on me. I don't know if you have really dark skin, I don't know if it is translucent, it should be. Um uh, it is really light on your skin. Uh, it does not make your skin look matte, which it, it isn't supposed to do. But it, if you have a really, really oily skin, it kind of calms it down and makes it... Gives it more of a dewy look than rather than an oily look, which is really good. And yeah, the, actually the reason that I bought it is because I wanted my makeup to stay on better. Because sometimes it cakes, I get oily skin and all that stuff. Um, I would say it, it depends on what I put on first. If I put on their mineral hygienics uh, um, foundation, it, it just makes it stay in place a bit longer and just look better a bit longer. And also on good foundations and good BB creams, they do, it does make it stay longer. Um, it isn't like amazing, it's never going to go off and like that, but it just gives an extra it just makes it stay on a bit longer and look a bit better and do not move as much. And um, I have also tried it on powders that they they do really, that does really cake up on my skin and powders I don't like wearing just to try it if it had any effect on those. And I didn't really think it had an effect on powders that are really cakey. So on powders that are good and just for giving it that extra <laughs> extra smooth finish and make it stay a bit longer it is a really good product um, uh, but it isn't like amazing you can uh, you can't use this for a product that's really bad uh, to begin with and the brush I've used for this is a uh, ED Bare Minerals Flawless Face Brush uh, that was just a review of these products. If you buy the products on the Mineral Hygienics uh, webpage, my viewers will get a discount of 10% if you write in Snow White. Uh, so you have to do that. I think it's like it lasts for two months. So if you're actually going to buy some stuff from them, you should before it has been two months because then you will get a discount. So yeah, thank you for watching this video and bye bye!